Welcome home. Welcome to the home of the Hero Workshop. And thank you for joining us. Don't you love my shirt? This is my other trademark shirt. This is a really special conversation starter. And they're worn on building sites. And if you notice lately on the block, if anybody's got so little to do that they want to watch the block, they're wearing some of these shirts on the block. So maybe watch out for them. These were specifically designed to help people start talking about suicide and the problems that they're having in their lives. What I'd like to introduce to you right now is my Victory Journey Toolbox. And it's a toolbox of, of special tools. There are glasses. You put the glasses on to view your situation. You need to know, before you go anywhere, you need to know something about where you actually are. So you need to look around and see, actually, and identify where you are. So to view the situation. Then you need a GPS. Everybody needs, seems to need a GPS to know where they are. So you need to know exactly where you are before you can go anywhere. So you need to know where you are. You need a GPS to identify your starting point. So you need a GPS to identify your starting point. Once you've worked that out, then you want to clarify your goals. So you get your binoculars out and you start to clarify your goals. You understand what your highest values are and what your, what your life mission is. And once you've got that very clear, then you're able to keep working from there. But on your journey, you'll get a lot of different information from lots and lots of places. And so you need to test and tag your information. Use the multimeter. Remember to use the multimeter because you'll get information from all sorts of places and you need to check with your own self, with your own heart, with your own gut to know whether that information is right for you right now. So you need to test and tag your information as you if you've set a goal, you'll start gathering information from all sorts of places. It'll come automatically. You need to work out what's actually valid for you right now. Once you've worked that out and you've worked out a goal and a plan, you need to order the decision process to begin. So you need to switch, switch on your decision-making process to order the process to begin. And that is something that's a pretty interesting concept. I don't know if you, if you drive, maybe you do the same thing as me. I'll be driving down the road and I'll be thinking, should I go in that tunnel or not? It's $5 something. Mm, should I go or shouldn't I go? Should I go or shouldn't I go? And all of a sudden I will realize that my hands and my feet is driving and my car is driving in the lane that says go through the tunnel. I've actually turned on the switch that's made that decision that's actually going to make it happen. So just take notice of what decisions you're making and when you actually make that decision. You still might be arguing with yourself, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, it's going to cost so much money and you're driving through the tunnel already. So just pay attention to when you actually switch that switch on when you make the decision to do something. Then you need the hammer. The hammer, you realise the action. You have to start hammering and you hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer. You need to keep going. You start and you keep on hammering. How do you eat the elephant? You do it bit by bit. You hammer and hammer and realize the action. And as you're doing that, acknowledge that you are actually making steps going forward towards your highest goal. And then when you're there, when you've actually reached something to celebrate, you get Yes, I have reached victory. So have a gold star beer. Now, this doesn't mean go and get drunk. This doesn't necessarily drink any alcohol anyway. This is a symbol of what you can do to celebrate in your life, to acknowledge to yourself that you've actually made a victory. This is really a special thing because don't expect other people to acknowledge what you've done. You need to acknowledge it to your own self. And it might not... Be Let's hope it's not getting drunk. Perhaps it's getting your camera, your latest Samsung that's got the best, the best camera out, and you go and you take a picture of this leaf. 
right up close and see those beautiful veins and the light in it and the shade. Maybe that's going to give you joy in your heart. Whatever it, it is that you can do that will give you joy in your heart to celebrate your victory. Using this Victory Journey toolbox, it's a toolbox for tools for life. It helps you to see where you are. It helps you to identify where you're going, goals, and hopefully that will save you from getting so confused that in the end, the only option would be thoughts of suicide. Let's hope that we can get that, nip this problem in the bud, this whole story of suicide, and work with the Victory Journey Toolbox, and let's beat this right from the actual source of the problem. Join me in this victory journey of life. Thank you very much. Watch us on, uh, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, and Facebook, Helena Wisdom page, and check us out on, on our website, www.helenawisdom.com. Look forward to joining you again soon. Thank you very much.